the line was longer. But this is why we're not shopping at ShopRite today. No. The line's too long. I'll come, I'll get up early tomorrow. Yeah. So I, w I was going to get up early today and go, but, you know, Philip had that party outside. So you were up all last night. <laughs> so we were talking about uh, Columbus, uh, the possibility of maybe doing it. Uh, our friend Nick and our friend Sal are doing it. Sal took the monthly, which I wasn't sure if he was going to because he worries about his van, but he did. And uh, then I found out I didn't know. And uh, then Nick is uh, Nick Petito. He does uh, stand up and voices, in case anybody's interested. He wound up taking the monthly, and he's down there. So I'm going to talk to him later and see what he says, because in my opinion, Sunday's the day. You know, if it's too impossible to get in Sunday, then maybe we should shoot for Saturday. You know, um, but we'll decide. I don't think I'm going to do it all the time, but I I still I don't know about driving that far with that van. Well. I mean, we could always get the van, uh, the once over or looked at or something like that. We can always, like, if we get this car fixed. Uh, if I go to Columbus, what I want to do at Columbus is, like, just take certain stuff to, to ditch. And then, like, have the opportunity to shop while we're there. Until, because, you know, like, buying jewelry for you right now isn't really happening. You know? The only jewelry that we've been getting is if I go to the thrift store. And you should you should come with it. Do you want to go to the thrift store today? Or, you know, you want to do something since we're out? Or... Just head right back home. All right. So we're just going to head home. But, you know, it's like it's either jewelry that you have or, or floating around, you know. And you've learned a lot. And you've found out more about things that are selling on eBay. Because before this, there was stuff that was a flea market. You're like, eh, I'm not going to put it on eBay. It doesn't really sell for that much. But then you take it to the market and it doesn't sell at all. You know, and everybody just wants the best, best, best stuff for like way less and I mean, the thing about jewelry is jewelry's there's a few things that are really easy to list on eBay, which is why they're so popular. One of them is games, you know, and as long as you're honest about the game, see, jewelry's even lit easier because it is what it is. You just take like a couple of pictures and you're done, write the description. But like games are easy to list too. All you have to do is, is test them. So if you test them and they work, then they're really easy to list. You know, consoles, things like that, they're hard because they're ex they're heavy and expensive but you know I'm still curious like I might I've been talking about maybe taking a run down the last Thursday of the month not early not to set up not to do the market but just to take the run down walk through the market talk to the vendors that I know and, and, and see what's going on this is Columbus I'm talking about and then maybe get the monthly for like we keep saying it's a Sunday but we could do it Saturday if there's because right now the main Saturday market where we were that was the big deal there's there's a, a Meadowlands right and um, how do you feel about Meadowlands I never liked the Meadowlands we don't make that much money there yeah you know the thing about the Meadowlands it was expensive he wouldn't let you put up a tent unless you paid him even more money well you had to pay for insurance they stole a lot you know and uh, now, who knows? I mean, the, I think the first time any of these markets happen, it's going to be killer. But the real problem with the Meadowlands is it's state. Uh, it's run by the state, which means you go by the state's schedule. Now, we were talking about Columbus and Collingswood and some of the other uh, flea markets. And it was like, why are they opening? How can they open? Because it's like they're at the bottom of stage, what is it, stage 5 or 11 or 20 or something. There's like a million stages or but something. I don't even know if they had a stage well, they were on the last. They were the absolutely last stage of well, reopening. The, that's what that's what uh, but, AJ. Had, you know, that's the Meadowlands is. They they watch the Meadowlands more. It's state. It's so the state makes a decision because they use the state police. Police. It's state well, how property. Did state run. Get away with it. How did they? Open? Because Columbus is privately. It's uh, now. Uh, that's a different town. You know, the townships can set their own rules, sort of. Um, they have certain mandates, but they have more flexibility than the state. The state sets the guides. It's like well, the federal the government town, states, probably sets the guides. The, the flea market brings a lot of people down there. and they Yeah. And, and also it's privately owned, which I believe Collingswood, Lambertsville, for some reason, isn't open yet. But uh, um, Collingswood, Columbus, well, Lambertville and uh, is English not Town. That big. If they have to have two spaces in between each vendor, what's the sense? Lamberville isn't that big. It's true. You know, you know, it's like they can only have a third of the vendors that they had. Yeah. You know, and 
is it cost effective? I don't know. I, like, I don't know why Columbus put two spaces. I know they had one space, which is well, Michelle more. Michelle said that they had one space, but then I guess somebody complained or something, or I don't know. Yeah, maybe and, because cars were parking there. It's uh, like really they weird. They said no, you have to have two spaces between. What they should just do? I don't know if the government came in and told them that, like the health department or something. Yeah, what they should just because do? Because I would think a space is. Is at least 12 feet wide. I'll tell you what I would do. So there's that uh, one space should be in more than six feet. Yeah. And that's so. what they're going to do with the street fairs. I'll tell you what I would do at, at uh, Columbus if it was me. I'd have a car park in the space um, next to the space that would be empty. And that would be the barrier. So people just couldn't go in there, spread their shit out. Uh, you know what I mean? And, and then I would, ha I would take the two tables that were in the other space. And combine them into four tables into the now one open larger space. That's what I would do. You know what I mean? Um, because since they're not using the space anyway, the vendor would get the extra tables and the space and whatever. I I think some of the vendors are doing it. I don't really know. You know, because if you have one space at Columbus, it's not that bad. One space at Columbus is basically two two parking spots uh, run long. You know on top of each other. Anyway, uh, I'm at home, so that's enough of this conversation. Bye.